I haven't exercised in six weeks. My bed is my best friend and I pop walking upstairs. It's time to change that. I'm gonna give you five easy tips to get off the couch and start working out. You can't get that dream bod if you never actually do anything. I am a passionate exercise enthusiast, yet I have found myself in the old do nothing ever, nothing really matters trap of 2020. This year is almost over and I refuse to let the pandemic turn me into a lazy, immobile, jelly bean human. Insert Wally reference here. So let's get started. Side note, if you weren't exercising before, doesn't matter, now's the time to start. Tip one, find some motivation. Can't really do anything if you're not motivated. I mean, you can, but find some motivation. I've been surrounded by a bunch of people who don't really know what exercise is. And turns out that's contagious. And this whole stay at home, never see anyone ever situation hasn't really helped that either. I seem to have buried my fitness goals and dreams. Why do I need to be able to muscle up? That's not gonna help me get from my bed to the kitchen, to the couch. But I want it because it's super cool and being strong makes me feel powerful. It is just so easy to lose sight of. I know the year's not over, but here's my thought. This is all gonna be over at some point and I don't wanna wait until I can see people again for them to be like, ooh, what happened to you? I want them to be like, damn, you look good. What are your goals? Do you want to look a certain way, lift a certain way, be able to do a certain skill? Think about that, write it down. Don't go too broad, something that you can't achieve for a really long time. I mean, make those, but make easier ones because you want it to be achievable. Right now, I just want to be able to do eight pull-ups without feeling like I hate it every time. I feel like that goal is a little bit far-fetched though. Now you need to find someone to motivate you. If you don't have people around you to motivate you, there is an abundance to choose from online. I mean, there is way too many to choose from. All places, all shapes and sizes with all different everything. So that's a good sign. Now the goals you just created, they're gonna help determine who you choose. You wanna find someone you can relate to and that will spark that tiny thought of putting down the Pringles, getting off the couch and doing something active. Even if that's only for a second, they're the kind of people we're looking for. Some of the people that motivate me are Whitney Simmons, Natasha Ocean, Morgan Maroney, Sarah's Day, Stephanie Bottomore. I don't follow a lot of men because I find it harder to relate to them. There's Jeff Nippard, Jeff Cavalier, Devin something something, probably a couple more, but I again, don't follow too many. Do some searching. If you start following some, they'll send you some recommendations you know, end up down this rabbit hole of awesome people to follow. If you haven't found anyone yet, let's just move on to step two anyway. Step two, find a program. You don't want to get to the gym or home with no plan and just vibe it in the moment. Like, I like abs, so I'm gonna crunch. That's not really gonna last very long. It's the thought of exercise is probably just gonna be too exhausting in itself. So leave the planning up to someone else. Google's overrated, skip that. Just go straight to those fitness influencers online you just followed. Basically all of them are selling some kind of program these days. And if they don't, check back in a week. They probably will have one then. And quick little side note, don't make the mistake of buying the program before you actually look at it. I made that mistake with my sister, I got her a program. She tried it once and uh, basically hasn't exercised since. I hope my sister isn't watching this video. So find a program that you think you'll be able to do whatever level you're at. If it looks too hard, you're probably not gonna stick to it. Let's be real. Slower is better. You're more likely to get sustained results. Right now we just wanna get doing it and try and make that a habit as opposed to getting ripped quick. Now I've gotten so comfortable not working out and I'm kind of a little bit scared, for lack of a better word, to work out again because I haven't done it in so long and I just feel out of my depth. So I've been putting it off, even putting off this video because it means I have to work out, but we're doing it together. Recently I've been following Stephanie Bottomore a little bit more closely and I've decided to do her home program. I still can't go to a gym and even if I could, I don't have a membership. So the home situation, great time. Step three, pick an outfit. This step is super important. Can you tell I'm really excited about it? <laughs> Looking good and feeling good is the only thing it really matters. I don't know if I should really say that. Cultivate the environment you want to be in. I don't have my goals yet. That doesn't mean I'm not going to walk into my workout with confidence as though I already have them. Mindset is super important. Right now, I'm wearing the biggest, baggiest jumper that I own. I'm not seeing anyone. It doesn't matter if I haven't showered in three days or if I ever see anyone ever again. I assure you I did shower at some point. But not caring is how we got here in the first place. We need to perk ourselves up, look good, feel good, parading around like we look and feel amazing million bucks. The days you're tired, not motivated, and nothing seems to be getting you off the couch, just get up and get dressed. Also, go take a quick look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself that you're a hot, spicy meatball. It works every time. Okay, step four, pick a time. I would suggest picking the same time every day, if not, good luck, but also it'll be easier to do consistently and create a habit. Treat it like the essential daily task that it should be, like it's part of your job. You can't just not show up for work if you don't feel like it. I mean, you can, but then you lose your job and... Imagine it like feeling gross when you don't brush your teeth, then your teeth kind of get really furry. Without exercise, you too will become weird and furry.
So I know I said every day, that doesn't mean you have to work out every day, but instead use that time to do something related. So if you've got a three day program, you have four other days, you can maybe go for a walk, do some stretching, meditate, watch some fitness YouTube videos. The idea is to train your brain that it's workout o'clock. For me, I don't have a nine to five job, so my days kind of vary a little bit chaotically. Instead of a set time in the day, I have it as the second thing I have to do on my list of things. First thing's me time and coffee. Second thing, workout, usually. So obviously I haven't been doing that recently. I can't do anything else until I've done my workout time. So it forces me to be productive. This might also work for you. If it doesn't, stop and go back to picking your time. It's time for step five. Step five, just start. This is the hardest step of all, but also kind of the most important. What are we doing otherwise if we're not actually doing the thing we've just done all this prep and stuff to set out to do? As much as people say they enjoy working out, they don't. No one really likes pain. That's the whole point of pain. In saying that, I sometimes enjoy exercise. It just depends on what kind of exercise I'm doing. You should enjoy exercise. Scrap what I've just said. Once you start, the doing just gets easier. It's now or never, or tomorrow. Tomorrow will be today, tomorrow. So just start today. Get up from wherever you're reclining from and go Go do some exercise. Okay. Eight week Stephanie Butterball program here. I have been procrastinating, but I'm just gonna do it. I've got six exercises, a whole bunch of reps and sets. I'll do it if you do it. I'm really gonna do it anyways. This is kind of a weird dumbbell to use for a goblet squat. Probably not heavy enough. Okay, anything heavier than a coffee feels like a hundred kilos. Oh man, maybe I should use lighter weights in this. This is such a weird exercise to get into position. I know I'm laying on this backwards, but this is for the purpose of showing you I'm exercising. I'm feeling a little sweaty. It is Romanian deadlifts. I love these. There is one exercise to go. Woo! There are bicycle crunches. Finished. I've made it through a workout. I can no longer say I haven't worked out in six weeks. Nice. If you haven't worked out before or you're just getting back into it, make sure you do the exercises correctly. Depending on your program, if you've got a good program to follow, they should have description, pictures, or even videos of correct technique. That is super important, especially day one, so you don't injure yourself. If you injure yourself, it's game over and how embarrassing, but also defeats the whole purpose of all of this. And if you're not sure what correct technique is, ask someone, Google it. Now back to you, other me. Eight week program, here I come. Now that everything is set in place, all I have to really do is just make sure that my laziness doesn't set in and stop me from working out daily. I can do it, you can do it. Let's do it together. Dream Bodies 2021, woo. Let me know in the comments what program you're starting today. I'll keep you accountable if you keep me accountable. Hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a like down below and subscribe for more cool vids. Also, follow me on Instagram to get that workout motivation you've been looking for. You guys are great. I'm gonna go, bye. My eyes look really blue, which is nice, but you can't tell where my hairline starts and my forehead ends.